One of the least explored areas of AI development currently is AI text to 3D objects, which really seems like a very powerful form of AI if you ask me. Think about all the applications you could have with AI text to 3D. 3D assets to straight up bring into real life, like AI actually designing a 3D object to be used for certain use cases. Picture one day AI could be designing entire projects for us. AI to be used in 3D video games, so generating certain 3D assets, assets that fit the same style of the video game, so everything kind of flows together cohesively. I mean, let's be honest, when you add the third dimension into AI, things definitely get more powerful than they even were before. I haven't covered text to 3D much on this channel, I did one video about it a little bit ago, but there was just this huge massive advancement in text to 3D that I think we gotta talk about. But viewers, first a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. When it comes to VPNs, you're not gonna find one much better than Nord. First of all, it's dead simple to use. It's a one-click auto-connect VPN. Once you're connected, you're greeted not only with protection while browsing the web, but access to all kinds of services that you normally would not have access to in your current location. Viewers, I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten comments where people vent about their issues with AI products not being offered in their particular location. NordVPN is the perfect solution to this problem. You can simply download NordVPN. Oh, and make sure you use my link in the description because it'll help you get four extra months on a two-year plan. And what's great is you have a completely risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. One major issue with VPNs is that they can be slow from time to time. But check this out, viewers. My internet speed with NordVPN is just as fast. With NordVPN on, as it is with NordVPN off. Pretty much every device supports NordVPN. Windows, Android, iOS, macOS, Linux, and even your Android TV supports NordVPN. And if you're using NordVPN to get access to AI services, it's really nice to know you're going to be protected from all those common cybersecurity threats, phishing, password attacks, DDoS attacks, malware, malvertising, and ransomware. NordVPN really goes all in. You have an automatic kill switch, which means if the VPN connection accidentally drops, well, the device is blocked from accessing the web. And there's even the double VPN feature, which allows users to route their traffic through two VPN servers, essentially doubling your encryption level. Viewers, if you are in need of a VPN, NordVPN is definitely the way to go. NordVPN.com slash MattVidProAI for free extra months on a two-year plan. And again, that 30-day money-back guarantee. There really is no no downside. Now back to our regularly scheduled content. Welcome back viewers. So this all comes from at Daz3D here on Twitter, which isn't just a Twitter account. It's actually an entire company. So what's the background on Daz3D? Well, it's actually this massive 3D assets store. So these are primarily 3D assets to be used in video games, or other 3D work, it could be for animation too. But you can see they have all kinds of different stuff from this little video that they're playing in the background. A quick browse through their shop shows you what their main focus is and that seems to be mostly humanoid figures. So there's obviously a lot of females, but there's also different expressions you can download in different types of humanoid creatures and objects, skin design, hair design, all kinds of stuff. So obviously with this, Daz is going to have quite a lot of data on these 3D figures. And from a company that necessarily wasn't in the AI game, they've announced their upcoming venture into the world of AI. And it's a text to 3D character engine that allows users to create very high quality, fully rigged custom 3D characters in just minutes using simple text prompts. Now, some of you who aren't as inclined to the world of 3D objects and rendering, a fully rigged model means it's gonna have bones and stuff that you can move around and really truly use in something like Blender or Cinema 4D or in video games even. So it's a full true asset. It isn't just the 3D model. It has the bones to be used and moved around, which is really cool. They say they're training their foundation model using a proprietary synthetic data set comprised of tens of billions of unique characters, of course, that they have access to because they run this 3D asset shop. Meticulously labeled and organized, this data set pulls from their 20 plus year history in 3D art. So yeah, they've been around for a while. It's not surprising that they would do something like this. But again, they're not really an AI tech company, so it is pretty cool to see a non-AI tech company 
jump in on this stuff. They're powered by their legendary published artist community. It's going to be highly accessible and versatile resource for 3D character creation, serving beginners and experts alike. Very similar to the kind of philosophy behind the new generative AI feature added into Photoshop. It works great for beginners. It works great for professionals. Just a great all-around tool. Very exciting. Some people are going to be a little concerned behind the ethics of this, though, because it is powered by published artists. So all these artists who created their 3D works before are being used to train this brand new data set. Some people really don't think that is very nice to do at all, but you don't really have this AI technology without a nice training data set of human created works. So that's going to be maybe a little bit controversial, but every single AI has had that controversy up until this point, pretty much. Lots of really good reactions so far, though, from the community. People saying it's a dream come true, incredible. A lot of us AI influencers, so to speak, would love to join this beta because it's not out for everybody just yet. Of course, I did apply and I will make a video when this thing becomes public. And yes, it does look seriously impressive. So let's go ahead and dive just a little bit deeper. Obviously, you can join the beta with the link that I've provided down in the description below. All you have to do is click join beta now. Very simple solution and name an email. None of those crazy Google questions or whatever like we've seen with OpenAI, for example, in the past, where they're like, hmm, what are you going to be using this for? And are you a student or are you a developer? It's just simple, name and email. So it seems like they're going to be distributing this access very fairly. Taffy is what they are calling it from Daz3D, and they say this innovative technology will revolutionize the way in which artists, developers, and other creative professionals of all skill levels bring their ideas to life, making it easier and faster than ever before to produce high-quality 3D characters based exclusively on text input. And we can actually take a look at this little video they've provided to give us a sneak peek of what this is all about. Viewers, also, I hate to do this, but I gotta mute the audio because I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. We'll go ahead and watch this. Taffy AI text to 3D character engine, typing in your different prompts here, and you can see these characters look very, very high quality. And you can talk to it just like a chatbot. We've been seeing a lot of this lately, where it is quite simply just a chatbot interface similar to ChatGPT. You can say, no, this guy's got to be shorter. Oh, this guy's got to look older. This has to be a woman. It's pretty funny, though, how casually you can talk to it. It says, hi, Ty, what would you like to create today? And Ty goes, make me a middle-aged Asian guy. Very casual conversation, and boom, it actually does create it. Say, make him older and shorter. He's not exactly perfect. It goes ahead and then generates the character actually very, very closely to what you would expect. Really phenomenal fidelity with this text to 3D. You can say, let's give him a uniform that makes him look like he's from a sci-fi film. And also, I love that when you just ask for a character, he just turns out naked. It doesn't try to dress him up in any specific way. So it's actually very unbiased in a sense, which I think is better for the creative process. It allows you to add things on as you see fit. So let's see, does he gonna, is he gonna look like he's from a sci-fi film when we create this uniform? Wow. Okay. Those are all fantastic. That's actually pretty much exactly what I would, would expect out of something like this, where we get this Star Trek-esque uniform in different shades, different colors too, and they're all looking pretty great. He looks like he's you know, on the space deck of a, a spaceship floating around or something like that. Really, really awesome stuff. This one is a little bit out of the world, though. Maybe he's a more of a warrior character or something like that. But you can see how detailed this all truly is. I mean, look at the details that we see in his face. First of all, it's a good looking character. It doesn't look uncanny or weird. It seems to be following the prompt very well. The light is bouncing off of the outfit in a way that makes a lot of sense in the game world. So it looks like it's got these PBR textures and mappings and stuff like that to give it depth and light, something that we see in 3D assets all the time. It really brings 3D assets to life, actually. What if we made the character a woman mid-length hair, and then it goes ahead and it's actually going to convert this entire character now into a woman with mid-length hair, not really keeping the same exact facial features, let's say, or even ethnic background for that matter, but the suit actually did stay exactly the same and it definitely turned into a woman. And we say, actually, take out the hair, let's give her a buzz cut like the original character. Okay, so it's actually going to be able to remember past characters too, that's, I think, what they're hinting at with this ad. So now this character goes ahead and gets the buzz cut that looks just like the original character's bu buzz cut. It actually looks almost like it's exactly the same. Say, <laughs> no, go back to the older man. So yes, this actually does remember 
the older characters that you had previously saved. So it actually looks like it's a pretty advanced little chatbot that can go back and forth and really manage the whole character development process for you so that it's a true creative expression experience really where you can just say hmm, no let's let's change this let's shape this differently again i always come back to in my videos the idea of this hollow deck that we can sit in and have objects spawn in around us and say no i want to change my environment in this way you can just talk to a chatbot the whole time and he's going to manipulate the entire environment for you say that's awesome can you show me the four stages of him turning into an alien okay this is quite a lot more complex for this thing to pull off let's see if it can do it it's gonna go ahead and hopefully oh gosh four different steps of him turning into an alien that is terrifying all right i'm not exactly sure how it's able to accomplish that are those just images that that's what my pre-assumption would be is that those, those this is like some sort of image generation technology not necessarily creating all these as a 3d asset but let's see how this continues can you put number four on an alien planet okay so it's able to understand that that's number four sure okay oh okay it's gonna actually render them out as a 3d asset now and you can quickly export to unreal engine blender unity wow this is really really phenomenal actually puts it right in there this is a highly edited ad so i'm not sure if they've truly developed all this technology yet but uh we'll have to see it's very enticing it's very exciting man this is a lot of really big promises i'm not sure if this taffy ai is going to be able to keep up on all of them especially the part where it's able to transform into the alien. The rest of it, I, I definitely believe that they have set up at the moment, but I mean, that is some truly mind-blowing tech. Again, we're on the wait list to get access to this thing, so stay subscribed, viewers, and maybe we'll check this thing out when they give me access. Anyways, we can take a look at some of the futures. Hands down, the fastest way to create custom 3D characters. I think there's no doubt about that. Generating something with AI is just so much more fast than doing it from scratch. Millions of premium 3D assets created by experts, so they're saying the data set is very high quality. I don't doubt that, considering they have 20 plus years in this. Text prompt, no prior experience in 3D needed to get started. Obviously, that is pretty much the whole point of this. User friendly, nice uh, workflow to create, edit, and undo. Optimized, very easy to export into game engines and 3D software. That is always very nice to see. All content is opt-in and artist contributors are compensated. So this is pretty interesting. I don't know. They probably signed something in the terms and conditions. And from this little clip here, we can see a whole host of presumably AI generated characters walking around this little city. Um, pretty cool little demo. Populated this scene in Unreal Engine with characters we made using a prototype of Taffy's Texas 3D character engine. Everyone is unique and it took a fraction of the time, a few minutes total to generate all of them. I don't doubt that. These files are optimized to work natively in Unreal Engine, Unity, Max, Maya, Blender, and Daz Studio. They're aiming to deliver the biggest breakthrough ever for generating 3D characters. No doubt this looks like it's uh, shaping up to be that unless we see another surprise competitor enter the ring. Added some flair to emphasize it's all based on a mountain of proprietary detailed and structured data because data like that is the lifeblood of ai you don't say my friend you don't say i highly agree with that statement how long would it take to create billions of characters variations to train a foundation ai model capable of producing custom 3d characters based on natural language text prompts that basically broke our calculators if we need to render that many visual training model it takes 75,000 years of compute time. Apparently, this Taffy model has an interoperable content library and metadata that they can generate many in a tiny fraction of that time. Definitely before the singularity. Okay, very uh, self-aware there for the AI tech. And probably even in time for dinner. Okay, I, I love the humor, at least. They're building the world's most powerful character engine. Whether you're creating a single perfect character or 10,000 random ones, they're here to make it fast, fun, and rewarding. Wow, okay. I do like all of these different examples they're providing us with the ability to stretch and morph all of these characters very fine tunely Yeah, this is shaping up to be quite something, that is for sure. Lots of very heavy promises. We'll see if they're going to be able to deliver. Viewers, this is some very exciting news. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Do you have any experience with this company? I had never heard of Daz 3D up until this point, and it seems like they're really taking a strong stride into the AI game. But from what I saw in their demo video, it looks to be very complex what they are boasting here. That is not easy to do, especially from a company that has never really worked with AI before. I have a feeling it's going to be a very long time before we see the features such as transform him into an alien. 
But again, I've been wrong before, so we'll have to see when they actually give me access to it. Thank you so much for watching, my friends at home, and uh, yeah, check out my Discord server where we talk about AI stuff all the time. The latest in AI is always posted right in there. Check out my other videos. I'll see you.